My name is Joe Leverick and I ride for the Rebel Collective. Tomorrow I will be doing a 276 kilometer time trial around the outer M25, aka the London Loop. Um, yeah, I'm riding a lap of London on my time trial bike, which is going to be fun, probably type 3 fun. Um, I will be using the Rebel Ultra time trial bike, which has been fully specified to my own kind of likings, which means there's some kind of slightly wacky parts on there, but kind of quite simple. Try and ride around London in seven hours or less. It's 8.01. We were supposed to go 31 minutes ago. Still need to fix the chain. Still need to get my helmet on. About to call my friend who's a mechanic. So. Perfect. Bike racing with Joe. <laughs> to be honest with the route, I can't really describe it because I didn't make it. So Dover Parkour's made it and all I know is we're starting at Parkour's HQ just outside of Guildford. Heading south um, towards the Dartford Crossing. At the Dartford Crossing, I will get in the support car because it's illegal to ride over it. Two minds, because if we had left two hours earlier, I'd have been about 4k an hour faster. But then it's like, I don't know, the whole point is trying to do it in the day. Yeah. Otherwise, we go out at 2 a.m. and just get it easy. Yeah. Also, you're going to hit traffic somewhere. Yeah. Although the wind's definitely turned. But, oh, well, I've turned, not the wind's turned. <laughs> <laughs> like, I noticed just um, when I took that fast left-hander yeah. about six, seven K ago, like, before when I was in position, kind of rolling, the speed had come to me. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, it's going to be an absolute bugger of an X 180 K. And then the next 180 kilometers, kind of, again, just constantly tracing the outer M25. Um, we're talking around two and a half thousand meters of climbing, so it's not pan flat, but it's also not that hilly. And yeah, it should be on relatively fast, relative A roads. This is going slow. So I'm hoping not to hit much traffic, but what will be will be. It's London after all. Um, I jokingly said, hey, let's ride a lap at the M25, which is the London Ring Road. Highly illegal to ride a bicycle there. The next thing I've got a um, I've got a map sent to me, which is a loop of the outer M25, um, and I've been slightly peer pressured uh, into doing it. Uh, the goal is seven hours, simply because it sounds nice. <laughs> um, it give me a forty kilometer an hour or twenty five miles an hour average, and it's kind of that middle ground where it's hard enough that it's going to be a challenge. It's not too easy, um, and I think just saying a lap of London in seven hours sounds pretty cool. So training wise I haven't done anywhere near enough so this year has been kind of characterised by gravel and road racing and time trialling unfortunately became a bit of an afterthought. Um, up until last week I spent more time riding my bike in the wind tunnel than I had done out on the road which is a bit unfortunate but yeah it's like I've ridden my bike for seven hours before I'm not worried about the physical demands it's kind of being in TT position will be interesting. Um, I'm expecting to kind of have a bit of soreness there and my glutes and everything just because it's a very, very aggressive position. Uh, apart from that, yeah, I don't know, it's like mentally just riding a bike, it's not that difficult. I don't think it's going to be crazily hard until the last hour when I open the, uh, where I truly open the tank, but yeah, I'm hoping physically I'll be okay, it's just the external factors to worry about. I crashed. That's what happened. Um, yeah, I crashed. I mean, cue all of the people saying, oh, this idiot crashed on a time travel bike. But I had a front blowout down a pretty steep, kind of gravelly country lane. Um, going into a corner, well, just before a corner. Tire blew out, kind of held the rim for long enough. And then just front wheel washed out in front of me. And the next thing I know, it's kind of my front end's damaged. I've bled all over my right side and when it's well matter of hours for off season like it was not worth getting on the spare bike bloody and everything just for the sake of finishing like yeah i'm i could have finished but i'd have been grumpy and nobody would have appreciated it so for the sake of 50 60k yeah just check just one of those things it feels so dumb 
but it's like there's nothing I could do. No. Like, no. Nobody in the world's gonna hold. That. And I wasn't even on the skis. No. Like I was in the base while trying to save it. Yeah. But it just blew out and yeah, it's not it's not your fault. No, it, it's unfortunate. It's not your fault, it's not the bike's fault. It's, it's... Yeah. You're riding in the UK, right? <laughs> you, the, that, route, that bit of route took us by surprise. Like, we yeah, were like. I was not expecting that. Oh, through, wow. Oh my god, look what's coming. Oh, like, shit. <laughs> god, imagine if I had to come into like. I was probably doing like 50 plus down there. Yeah, hitting that at that speed would have been. We got one there. And here you got. Yeah. We've got a bit of. So this is the, the beer and the river list for blood. And then. I think. Uh, well, a few rips here. I think I'll be back to do this. I think my original statement of wanting to concentrate, not concentrate, wanting to do National 12 next year, that might get shelved. Because I do not feel the need to spend 12 hours on a time trap bike um, at this point in my life. Um, I'm looking at some other records as well, kind of place to place records. Whether they come out next year kind of depends on the calendar because it's already looking pretty crazy. So, yeah, I'll be back here.